Thanks, Ireland. Here's what we have for sports. Last night, the Toronto Maple Leafs lost 5-2 to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Sidney Crosby's 1.3 assist game put the Pens into first place in the Metropolitan Division. This is the Leafs' third loss in four games. The teams are playing again in a home-and-home -home series tomorrow night at the Scotiabank Arena. Montreal Canadiens lost 4-3 to the Detroit Red Wings last night. The Red Wings forward Andreas Athanasiou scored his second goal with less than six minutes left in the game. The Canadians have now lost five games in a row for the third time this season. Canadian fans are hoping for a turnaround when they play the Washington Capitals tomorrow night. The Winnipeg Jets beat the Los Angeles Kings 6-3 last night. It was the Kings' first game without forward Tyler Toffoli, who was traded to Vancouver on Monday. Blake Wheeler, the captain of the Winnipeg Jets, scored twice and added an assist on his 700th game. The Jets will be playing the Ottawa Senators tomorrow night. Ottawa beat the Buffalo Sabres 7-4 last night as Craig Anderson made 23 saves to pick up his 200th win with the franchise. The Senators had a lot to celebrate, scoreboards aside. The night started with Chris Phillips' number four being raised to the Raptors in a pre-game ceremony. Chris Phillips was Ottawa's first player to play his entire career in a Senators uniform. He holds the franchise record for games played, reaching 1,179. The Toronto Raptors are returning to the court this Friday to play against the Phoenix Suns. This is following the NBA All-Star break that happened over the weekend. Toronto will look to start a new winning streak after their 15-game streak was broken by the Brooklyn Nets. Humber Mensa's basketball will wrap up the 2020 regular season tomorrow morning. The Hawks will be playing against their rival Sheridan College at Humber's North Campus Gym. Humber women's basketball is also concluding their regular season tomorrow. The Hawks will be playing against Sheridan College's women's basketball team at Humber's North Campus Gym. Both games will be streamed live on the Hawks Sports Network. It was a big week for Humber athletics as the Hawks took home 10 OCAA medals, including six provincial titles. This week's Humber Student Athlete of the Week honors four student athletes who helped Humber reign supreme in Ontario. Humber's Department of Athletics and Recreation is hosting a Nerf game tournament at the Lakeshore campus's main gym. Skedline reporter Jack Anderson covered the event. Let's take a look at some of the action. Bring community gathering kind of thing, just get people de-stressed from exams, because they already know this week is exam. So the best kind of get people out of their books. A lot of people don't know that we exist on campus, so we want to let people know that athletics is more than just basketball and soccer, that we have a lot of fun games to play. For more fun from Humber and news on future events, check out humberathletics.ca. Now throwing it to Maddie Sear to close the show.